situation where everyone are sort of they're being paid a salary they cannot live on in the normal situation all the health workers have to do small businesses so they are selling this and that to the patients they're selling drugs to the patients they have their small business all of them or they're just leaving leaving job and going around to doing something else so there's no real cohesion at the hospital in Bissau so what we managed to do was essentially to <coughs> treat everyone the same way they all knew what they should do the question was whether they could actually do it. So we, at one ward, those who were randomized, the personnel was randomized to work at this ward. So it wasn't that we took the best people. It was a pure randomization process. We, <coughs> uh, they were paid only $50 a month, something like that order of money, which was enough to sort of survive on. And therefore they actually did the job they were supposed to do, which they're very often not doing in the normal situation. People are not doing what they're supposed to do or what they should do. They know they should do, but they don't have the possibility of doing it. Yeah. Could, it could it be that the mortality decreased because people knew that doctors were on strike, so they didn't go to the hospital and they died away from the hospital? And then perhaps deaths were not registered for similar reasons because they felt that there was no point in no, it. But then could have picked it from the mortality data. Of course, for Zambia, True. you cannot bury without getting a burial claim. Whatever it is, you know this. That didn't... But now, which sure. deaths have to be registered? Those known or suspected due to non-natural causes or all causes? All deaths. All, all causes of death, yeah. Well, then, it's a mystery. Yeah, then say, secondly, on, to, to, to uh, uh, Paris, the, yeah, giving us a picture that, at least in this particular context, the data from the WHO should <coughs> not be relied upon because it's incomplete in one sense. So when, when, when I don't know whether I got it correctly, so when we are doing the indicators of success. You know, we're very good at writing to the donors that these were the outputs, the, de the deliverables. Are we telling lies? Or are you saying that uh, we need to be doing something more? Because I mean, so what are we measuring then? If we ask the wrong question, said seven will never get the right answer, whatever we do. I think uh, the, the quality of data differs according to the health outcome in question. So for instance, if you're looking at HIV, Prevalence rates, those are much more <coughs> frequently measured through population surveys and antenatal clinic samples than, for instance, fatal shootings. Fatal shootings are very rarely uh, the subject of national surveys, etc. I'm talking largely about injuries here. You would need a much more detailed thing to look at malaria-related deaths, measles deaths, polio, etc., etc. And then the picture would be very differentiated. Of course, if you look at the big burden of disease estimates, those are very problematic because you're putting together all of the different causes into the same chart or into the same bar of the chart. And so when you saw all deaths by region and you compared it then to the number of countries that actually have vital registration systems, yeah, that would show that we'd, we're performing very poorly in terms of improving the capacity of countries to measure the causes of death. We really haven't changed the situation in the last 15 to 20 years. It hasn't really budged. And this is a matter of huge importance because many countries need to shift to a system where vital registration becomes far more part of normal practice because they are moving into the epidemiological transition where these issues of non-communicable diseases and injuries are going to be on the up and they're going to need that kind of system in order to monitor them. I mean, it's part of good governance, it's part of what makes for a healthy society, and it's where people need to go. But it's not easily achieved. 